Good morning, my friends. I want to talk about this comment, and I'm going to try to make this quick, short, simple, and to the point. Um, so, you know, I have a tendency, every time I offer my opinion, my thoughts on something, I'm going to make somebody mad, so prepare to be mad. My opinion, Talia Rose says, my opinion is dinosaurs and others, I believe they are chimeras, mixed genes, etc. At least the Bible states the Nephilim were crossbreeding and making chimeras, not God's creation. All right, first of all, quickly, I just want to say that I strongly believe that dinosaurs still exist today. They are only smaller than what they were before the flood because they don't live as long as they lived before the flood. Before the flood, they lived much longer, and it's a scientific fact that reptiles never stop growing in size Therefore, they would have grown humongous in size, and we have evidence of that in the fossil record. So, Talia Rose's opinion is that they are chimeras, and I'll be honest with you, I have no idea what a chimera is. So, chimera. Chimera, chimera, I don't know. I don't even know how to say it. A fire-breathing female monster with a lion's head, okay. That doesn't sound like a real creature. Uh, a chimera is essentially a single organism that's made up of cells from two or more individuals. That is, it contains two sets of DNA with code to make two separate organisms. One way that chimeras can happen naturally in humans is that a fetus can absorb its twin. Alright, so if a fetus can absorb its twin, it's the same DNA. It's not two different DNAs. I mean, it, it's all within the same book of DNA. Alright, so... Uh, a mouse will always be a mouse. A cat will always be a cat. A dog will always be a dog. Within those books of DNA, there are variations. So, uh, the variations are not different creatures after different kinds. You can't mix a monkey and a cat. You can't mix the DNAs. They won't reproduce themselves and <clears throat> so I you know mixing genes you have to almost you have to just go um, cross over that line of reality into the world of fantasy and just come out and say you believe that whoever is mixing DNA between a giraffe and an elephant and, and recreating and making their own new creatures or whatever all right I mean just come out if that's what you believe you like Richie Jacobs here he talks about Steve Anderson and obviously when it comes to the book of Revelation I I don't in particular uh, chapter 18 I think Steve Anderson's way off on this, and I think it's because it's something he was taught as a child. But you have to credit Steve Anderson because he tells you exactly what he believes, and he doesn't back down from that. you got to appreciate that. Right or wrong, he speaks what he believes. And so also, when it comes to this idea of mixing DNA, just stop beating around the bush about it. Just come out and say, you believe that there are creatures in the world today that are a mixture of two different kinds of animals that God never made or God made a monkey and he made a cat and then man mixed the DNA and made a whole new creature called the dog whatever you know I don't care it's nonsense alright but just regardless if that's what you believe just come out and say it so also when it comes to the idea of angels breeding with humans, and somehow there's what superhumans? Uh, you what? You got Superman and Batman, Robin, and you know Spider Man and Goofy Man and whoever else, man. I mean, just be honest. If that's what you believe, if you believe these superhero movies are actual documentaries, then just be honest and say. I believe superhero movies are documentaries. If that's what you believe, just be honest. Alright, and 
Right, you got an interesting comment here. At least the Bible states Nephilim were crossbreeding and making chimeras. All right, so that that's not that's not, that's not in the Bible at all. You might get that out of these what's called extra biblical books. Um, but they they are not extra biblical books. They are fables. They are cunningly devised fables. For we have not followed cunningly devised fables. Now, th but that's exactly what they are. I mean, come on. You you've got these books very cunningly crafted books that claim that Nephilim are half angel half human and they are what coming down on earth and breeding half monkey and half cats or half elephants and half giraffes or whatever well how about mixing the half monkey half cat creature with the half giraffe half elephant creature and then having like a quarter of each in one creature Wow, that would be fantastic, huh? Except it's all fantasy land. It's all nonsense. All right, so angels don't breed. Angel, there are no angels reproducing themselves. And angels are not superheroes flying around from planet to planet, wearing a cape and, and coming down to earth and having sex with your wife or your daughter. It's not happening. That's fantasy world stuff. That's Hollywood stuff. That's not reality, and it's certainly not in the Bible. All right, but if that's what you believe, just be honest. Just, I mean, sometimes it helps when you're terribly wrong about something, but if you just say it out loud with your own mouth and hear yourself saying this stuff, maybe you'll be able to see how ridiculous it is. All right, and that's what. So I want to encourage you, if you believe that angels are having sex with your daughter, or your wife, or your sister, just come out and say it. Let's talk about it. I mean, let's talk a whole bunch about it. All right, because I'm confident that if you truly are born of God, the more you hear yourself talking about it, the sooner you're going to see how ridiculous it is. All right, because it's not in the Bible. The idea is just pure nonsense. It's fear fiction. It's Hollywood stuff. It's kind of stuff you see on TV, but it's not reality. Angels don't have sex. This isn't HBO. This isn't Cinemax. Angels don't have sex. Angels don't reproduce. And you don't have to worry because angels are not coming down and having sex with your entire family. They're not having sex with you either. And maybe that disappoints you. I don't know. But this idea that angels are having sex, it's not in the Bible. It's not in Genesis 6. It's not anywhere. And then again, if you're saying, <laughs> this is what burns me right here. People are saying, the sons of God are fallen angels. That burns my ass. It does. It should burn your ass too if you're a born again believer. If you're born of the Spirit of God, that ought to burn your ass. Really. Beloved, now are we the sons of God and it does not yet appear what we shall be but will we know that when he shall appear when Jesus Christ shall appear in the clouds of heaven we shall be like him for we shall see him as he is we are the sons of God now are we the sons of God it's not we're going to be right now we are the sons of God and you want to say sons of God are fallen angels
Buddy, I think you're a liar. I, th I do. I think you are the devil. You, your father is of the devil. You are of the devil. This isn't coming from God. This is coming from Satan. This idea that sons of God are fallen angels. Okay. All right, now that my blood pressure is all up, I'm going to end it right there. But look, and look, I, I want you to just be honest about what you believe. Share your thoughts and comments, and let's talk about it. Okay? Let's have a conversation. Like I said, I strongly believe in the Spirit of God. And so I strongly believe that if you continue to talk about this and you, you continue to hear yourself and just sort of, uh, you know, play this out logically, if you will, think it through, you're going to see that this whole idea is nonsense. Absolute, utter nonsense. It sounds fantastic in the beginning, but then it falls flat because there's no truth in it. All right, so that's enough. Thanks for the thought. Thanks for the comment. Um, no matter how crazy it is, man, let's hear it. And if I'm too rough, I'm too tough, I'm too ugly, I'm too stupid, whatever, I'm sorry, I apologize. I'm going to make somebody mad no matter what I say. But I do think these ridiculous things are important to talk about.